Today we'll be taking a look at the Beretta 92 DXR, part of a one-off run of double-action Beretta 92s introduced in 2020. You may be asking, why would anyone want a double-action-only Beretta? A good question to be sure, but there are a small minority of experienced folks in the industry who think double-action triggers absolutely still have a place in the world of auto-loading handguns. There's a few reasons. Safety and simplicity seem to be the main two. You have a long, deliberate trigger pull, and you don't have to worry about managing a decocker, which despite what you may think about your own gun handling skills, has been an issue with many traditional double action or DASA users who have not received proper training, and this is even more so in stressful situations. As a revolver enthusiast and a concealed carrying everyday civilian, I thought that having a simple double action trigger combined with the reliability of a 92 series pistol seemed pretty cool so I picked one of these up soon after they were released to check it out. The 92DXR is based off Beretta's relatively new 92X series. At its core, it's a standard 92 slide with a 4.9 inch barrel. It has a railed 92X grip frame which has the Vertec grip profile. This is a slim down grip designed to be compatible with a wider variety of hand sizes than the classic 92 profile. It has a Wilson Combat rear sight, blacked out, and a Pro Glow Orange front sight with a tritium insert. Grip panels are just the standard plastic Vertec grip panels, and the front and back strap are checkered. Out of the box, I was really impressed with how this 92 felt in the hand. I never quite settled into the angle of the Vertec grip on my 92X Compact, even though I am the small-handed target market for the Vertec line, but it feels more natural on this full-size grip frame, almost 1911-like. I also think Beretta hit it out of the park with the stock Vertec grip panels here. They're the perfect blend of grippiness and inside the waistband comfort, for me at least. The sighting arrangement is pretty much ideal. A high-vis night sight up front and a blacked out rear works as good as anything else for my eyes. Another thing I really like about the double action Beretta is how much more slim down the gun feels when you remove that decocking lever, which protrudes on both sides of the slide on a standard 92. Although it's not a slim gun at 1.1 inches wide, the overall profile feels much narrower, a major plus for concealed carry. At the range, it has proven to be 92 series reliable and accurate. I lubed it up when I first got it and have five or 600 rounds into it with no other maintenance. Various brands of ball ammo, some assorted hollow points I had laying around, a box of 124 grain gold dots and 147 grain HSTs. No issues at all, which is really not surprising for a Beretta 92. I haven't carried this gun yet, mainly because I have other platforms that I have chosen to focus on at the moment, but would not hesitate to do so at all. The Beretta 92 series is a proven and reliable design, and this is a very well-executed example. The trigger is excellent out of the box, significantly better than the double-action trigger on my 92X Compact, which supposedly uses a D-spring. I am accustomed to double action triggers because I shoot a lot of wheel guns, but if you are coming from a striker fired background, there will be a period of adjustment. Nothing some dedicated dry fire can't fix. I've seen some folks on the net who have sent their DXRs to Langdon Tactical for a trigger job, and I imagine the result would probably be about as good as a double action Beretta trigger could get. I'd love to see Beretta come out with a compact version of this gun. If they did, I'd quite possibly buy two and switch to it as a primary carry gun. In the world of lightweight striker-fired triggers, I think that the double-action trigger certainly still has a place for civilian and duty carry alike. I doubt there is a market for that gun, but a man can dream. You still see this gun pop up on the used market from time to time, and if it sounds like something you'd be interested in, I would certainly recommend picking one up. Thanks for watching, folks, and have a great day.